I'm going to try to smize a little bit like Tyra Banks so my eyes don't look so bug-eyed. We'll see how that works. Hi, it says what? Thanks for stopping by my channel. I got this idea from Amy Elizabeth. She did a video showing all the bags she bought during quarantine. So that's my body count. <laughs> I know the kids today call body count something else, but these are all the bags I bought during quarantine. So some people in quarantine accomplished a lot some people made a whole other human being. Uh, some people learned a language. Some might have done major projects around the house. I grew my under jowl area <laughs> by eating too much. And I relied on retail therapy. So this is my quarantine body count. Oh, and I also got this tattoo. Some caveats. Um, this doesn't include bags that people gave me. <laughs> and it doesn't include accessories. This is all just handbags. So the first one is my small satchel in pebble grain leather in caramel. I've done videos on all of these bags, but if you're interested in seeing more about them, just let me know in the comments. This is from Dooney and Burke. I will need my notes. I'm doing these in the order that I bought them too. The next one is this bag I got from Amazon. It's made of cotton or canvas or something. And it's just a nice lightweight bag. It was great last summer. I carried it a lot. The next bag is this Valentina woven Italian bag made in Italy that I got at TJ Maxx. I put this bag charm on it. Another lightweight bag and I really like the woven leather. And I blame Mono's Beauty for this Buckley from Dooney and Burke in black. She let me know that it was available on I Love Dooney. Beautiful bag. Then I made two purchases together. One was this rust brown Mercato tote from Parker Clay. And then I bought this large drawstring bag. I think it's called the Emma Bucket Bag, also from Parker Clay. Parker Clay is a California-based company but all the bags are made in Ethiopia and they give jobs to women who are at risk in Ethiopia. And I think they have a great mission. So I wanted to support that. Then uh, the next bag I bought, I don't have with me. I actually sold it, but it is this Patricia Nash Acera saddlebag in um, black and silver. Here are some pictures. I ended up selling the Patricia Nash bag. I actually made some money on that. <laughs> At the same time, I bought this blue nylon bag or navy nylon, nylon, navy nylon bag from Dooney and Burke. I haven't used this one yet. I think it's the first one that I've shown you that I haven't used yet. Then I bought this Dooney and Burke 
Camden Hobo and Pebble Grain in red. I have used this one often. Another one I haven't used yet is this Brahmin Copa Cabana Large Duxbury Satchel. I just love the pattern with the old trucks and cars, the woodies, whatever they're called, and the palm trees. I don't know why I haven't carried this yet, but probably because I didn't have any place to go. Then I bought this Dooney and Burke Logan, small Logan drawstring in Florentine. This is the chestnut color. Flashing through these bags pretty quickly because I don't want this video to be too long. Next, I bought this Kurt, Kurt Tiger Large Kensington in Tweed. I like the eagle's head on the front and the chain detail. Then I bought this beautiful Avery tote. I think it's the large Avery tote from Go Forth Goods in rustic gray. It's a beautiful bag, full grain leather, made in the USA in Georgia, and a great carry. Sorry, they're doing yard work right outside my window, if you can hear that. Then I bought this beautiful Mercer drawstring. I forget the name, let me look. Okay, this is from Michael Kors, and it's called the Mercer Gallery drawstring, I guess, in terracotta multi. This is a beautiful bag. I think I only managed to carry it once since I bought it though. We're on the home stretch, folks. Next, I bought this Dooney and Burke Blakely Celeste Satchel in navy. I love the endless braid on the handles. I love Dooney and Burke and the, this print is everything to me. I then bought this large monogram Dooney and Burke drawstring in charcoal. I really love this bag. Um, it's hard to find now. I think they might be at the outlets, but only in one color. This, I've only been able to find it in the saddle color. I'd love to get this in another color. I have a lot of caramel bags, so I don't really need the saddle. It's too close in color. And then speaking of caramel, I bought this small drawstring in pebble grain recently. I added this coach charm. So that's my body count. All the bags I bought during quarantine. Let me know what bags you've bought during quarantine. Can you beat my total? I really appreciate everyone taking the time to watch. I can't really even express how much it means to me. You are my social and creative outlet. <laughs> so um, you've really helped me get through quarantine either by interacting with me on my videos or if you're a YouTube creator, creating videos for me to watch and comment on and enjoy. So thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, everyone.